Uh, I'm Ron Mars, uh, and I write comics. I've been writing comics for uh, 20 years plus uh, plus a little while, so uh, you know, it's better than working for a living. So, uh, what are some of the things that you work on? I'm not be back in a uh, right now, I'm doing Voodoo for DC. Uh, I'm finishing up a 70 issue run on Witchblade for Top Cow. Uh, I'm still doing Magdalena for Top Cow. Uh, and I do a creator own book called Shinku for Image. What's it like working for DC? Uh, well, you know, you go into it knowing that you're you're playing with their toys. It's a different uh, it's a different relationship uh, than you would have at say Top Cow or Image, where uh, you're given a little bit freer reign, but you have to make your peace with that. Um, and you know. The whole thing is great. Every every aspect of this job is really wonderful. Um, but you know, you're going to have more freedom on certain things than, than you're going to have on others. Um, and you just the best thing is to sort of know those parameters and and understand that you're playing with somebody else's toys. And once in a while, uh, they're going to give you some they're going to give you some rules on how they want you to play with. Them. So, what are some of the things that you have here? Uh, uh, this is mostly stuff that I don't want to take back home. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a mixture of uh, odds and ends of uh, artifacts, which is one of my top cow projects. Uh, create our own stuff like Shinku and Samurai. Um, you know, and I'm not really that comfortable like selling stuff at shows, but because this is a local show, uh, I kind of came to the conclusion that people actually want you to bring things to the show because they want to have you know an interaction and, and get a signature. Uh, I always felt like it was, it was awkward to, to to do that um, to do that transaction, but I came to the conclusion that people really want you to bring something so that they can get something from you specifically. Um, and I actually I just had that conversation with uh, James DeMattis in, in the other room who was coming to the same conclusion that, oh yeah, it's kind of cool when you know, people want to come to you and get something. What do you have in the works for the future? Uh, more of the same. Uh, more Shinku, more Magdalena, more artifacts, and we're just, uh, we're still in the first, in the first uh, year of Voodoo, so hopefully uh, we'll get enough interest to keep that book going too. And what is Voodoo? Uh, Voodoo is one of the new uh, 52 big launch issues that DC did. It's a, it's a wild, strong character that we've now introduced into the DC universe with some slight differences in terms of uh, how she's been portrayed. Uh, and it's really, it's really a espionage book set in the midst of a superhero book. Uh, so, so far we're not, we're not really sure whether she's supposed to be a hero or a villain or somewhere in between. So hopefully that's part of the interest that um, drag people into the book because you don't quite know who you're supposed to be rooting for. And that'll eventually become clear, but we want the mystery to be there for a few issues. Very cool. Thank you very much. Sure, thanks. All right, you guys.